Uh, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, today I am going to show you how to make kale, which is, as they call it here, superfood. But funny enough, well, I've been eating it since I was a toddler back at home in Kenya. So I'll just show you the ingredients and then we'll crack on with the rest. Yeah, so what I have uh, here is the ingredients that I will need. I don't need anything other than uh, oil and I will also be needing uh, salt and pepper. So I have a whole um, onion. I have some poly sausages. You can use anything. In Kenya, uh, we use um, different kinds of meat. So it's whatever you choose. So for me today, I just decided to um have a little bit of a twist and uh use polish sausages which are already uh already prepared and uh they're ready they're already cooked and i have mushrooms and then i have the kale which is already nicely washed and dried out because i do not want it to have water if i need to add water then i will add it from the tap so yeah we'll crack on so we'll go to the stove so I am uh, simultaneously going to be cooking uh, the mushrooms and frying the onions. So uh, average fire, so you, you don't want to burn your onions and oil both on the big uh, cooking pan and for the mushrooms. So I'm just warming up that um, oil and then we will put the mushrooms on the frying pan and on the saucepan we will put the onions so the only thing that i will need here extra is just salt and pepper i usually add um, at the end of the cooking i usually add um, yogurt but today i'm not going to add yogurt because um, the sausages are quite uh, fatty so i don't want it to be spoiled so I think my oil is getting warm. Take my mushrooms. So mushrooms usually tend to have a lot of water because when I wash them, I just make sure that they stayed out and dried out. So that they don't give me too much uh, moisture when they are frying. So I'll be the mushrooms and I will put the onions. Nice and tender. Doesn't take too long. Everybody loves mushrooms. the mushrooms because they will be nicely soaked into the cooking oil and they work well when they go with a kale because this kale is usually um, back at home we don't have honey kale but 
here, whatever is available is ponytail, which is quite, uh, it takes a little bit of time to cook, but I like it because it's more crunchy than the one we have back at home in Kenya. Yeah, and this one, uh, I will start it for dinner with, um, we call it Ugali back at home in Kenya, but it's a kind of like cornbread. Uh, at some point I will be able to show you how to do it. But today I'm just showing you how to do it. You don't want to burn your um, onion. So I will reduce the fire. And I can be able to put in the the well, Let's put a few and then stir. just a little bit of water to just let it steam for a couple of minutes and then I will stir it and see where we go from there. So I'll just let it steam a little bit. I'll close it with a lid. Now they are turning nice and golden. I want them to have crunchiness. And then because this Polish sausages we have this uh, particular taste about them. So when they go to um, the kale, they will bring the flavors in and it all works out. Um, really is delicious so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to add my holy sausages in here you can use even chorizo if you would like to i mean it's it's, it's whatever you choose whatever choice you, you want sometimes you can cook it as a separate dish so you have your meat separate from the kale but i like it putting it that way because all these steaks taste and that they come in together they really elevate a very simple dish and make, make it um, yeah quite tasty I would say. As you can see 
you can see I haven't added anything yet uh, in terms of salt or pepper. So I tend to do that almost at the very end rather than at the beginning. You can see the sausages are quite oily, so that is their own oil. So when that oil goes into the shell, it makes it nice and tender, but it's still kind of like uh, crunchy. And because whatever we eat with, it's very light, the cornbread, it just Mix all the textures in your mouth, just melt away. So I'm checking my kale. Yeah. Steamed. So when it's steaming, it tends to uh, become less in volume. But it's looking nice and vibrant and green. The colors that I love to see on my plate. That's why I like to see to mix them up so I know I can see my greens and I can see my browns, I can see just little pieces of meat and yeah and your cornbread which is white so it's just nice for my eyes as well as for my taste that. Okay. So I'm going to switch the fire on the sausages and the mushrooms and then we will just see. Uh, Take care of the kale. Not looking bad, not looking bad at all. So I'll just cover it for maybe a few more minutes and then after we will transfer the kale, the sausages into uh, the kale with star and then I will add salt and pepper. And basically, um, in about five minutes, the dish is ready. It's a very simple way to just make, especially um, over the week, weekday when you don't have a lot to, uh, you don't have a lot of time. It's something that is easily made and uh, yeah, a good healthy meal for the family. Yeah, and for somebody who's looking for something new to do with the kale, you see it on the supermarket and you don't know what to do with it. Yeah, that is a new way that you can try. So now uh, my kale is coming out nicely, it's really nice and tender, you can always try it out and see if it's good to go. So I will add my salt and pepper. It just depends how much... Uh, Paper you like. My family doesn't mind. So it's always up to you. But I would just recommend a tablespoon of so uh, uh teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of salt, black pepper. So I will leave it at that. It's reduced, really reduced down. So what I'm gonna do now is add on my mushrooms and sausages. And you can see 
can see all the oil is coming in there and that one is coming from the sausages So you can see the vibrant color. You can see your greens, you can see your sausages, you can see the color of the onion. And yeah, you can I can eat it any time of the day, any time of the week. So we we'll just let it for a bit and you can add a little bit of water if you want to as well. So I'll just give a little bit. Just add just about two spoons of water and just let it steam for about a few more minutes and we will be done cooking. It's a very very simple and efficient way of just making curly kale for your family just something different something nice and then yeah i'll show you eventually what i will be serving with yeah so if you like my dish uh, and you'd like maybe other recipes for things that you might not know how to cook them um you are most welcome to send me a comment, a like, um, a request is up to you. So I'll show you eventually the end results. Yeah, so here is my kale all done and ready. I am just about to go to have my dinner and I'm eating it with um, cornbread, which is something we eat at home. We call it ugali. Uh, so, bon appetit! And if you like this recipe, uh, please go ahead, subscribe, like, uh, put in a comment, and let's keep on cooking and talking up the flat wall. So, bye!